Now that we have all of our OS components, let's prepare an SD card from scratch so that it's properly partitioned and formatted. For reference, I'm using a Transcend USB 3 dongle with a SanDisk Ultra micro SD card for loading the root file system and OS components for the Zybo board. Before I plug this in, let's open up a new terminal and look at the current memory devices connected to the system in slash dev. Here we can see there is SDA, SDB, and SDC, but there is no SDD. Now let's plug in the SD card. If we look into slash dev again, we now see that there is an SDD memory device that currently has a single partition that's mounted on the computer. Let's unmount that partition by running the umount command, then let's run the fdisk command with sudo on the SDD memory device. fdisk is just a utility that will help you partition and format your SD card, but there are other tools that you can use to do this instead, like gparted. If we type in the letter P here, we can print general info about this memory device. We can see that it's about 15 gigabytes and that it currently has a single Linux partition that utilizes the entire 15 gigabytes of space. We'll need to format the SD card in two partitions for the Zybel board. One for the root file system, which I'll call the root file system partition, and another for everything else, which I'll call the boot partition. Let's first make the boot partition. We can start by making sure everything is deleted from the SD card. You can do this by typing in D. Because there's only one partition, it knows to delete that partition. Next, create a new partition by typing in N, then select P for primary partition. Next, you can just press enter since we want to start with partition one and the default value if you don't type in anything is one. We can also press enter again since starting the first sector at 2048 is fine. However, we want the first partition to be 32 megabytes. So we'll type in plus 32 M here and press enter. We want to remove the signature here. So we'll select Y for yes. Now let's see what we have so far by typing in P. Notice how the first partition only takes up 32 megabytes, but before it took up the entire size of the SD card. Also notice the type of partition is Linux. However, we actually don't want the first partition to have a Linux type. We want it to have a W95FAT32LBA type. To change this, type T and press enter. Then type an L to see a list of all the codes for all the different types you can make a partition. C is the code that we need to use for a W95FAT32LBA type. So we'll type in C and press enter. If we enter in P again, you'll see the type has now changed to what we wanted. Next is the second partition for the root file system. Let's type in N, then P. Press enter since we want to work with the second partition. Starting the first sector at 67,584 is fine since that just leaves off where the first partition ended. So push enter. And we want to take up the rest of the SD card for the second partition, which is the root file system. So we'll just press enter again for the default then press Y here to remove the signature. Let's see what we have so far by entering in the letter P. The type for partition two is correct. We actually do want Linux here, but if we didn't say Linux, you could do what we did before, which was press T, then L to find the type. Linux is type 83, so we'll just type in 83, then press enter. Pressing P for the last time, just to make sure this is how we want to partition the SD card and everything looks good. So let's enter in a W for write the changes to the SD card. Please make absolutely sure that this is the right memory device you're wanting to modify before you press W, because if you choose the wrong one, you could delete your entire drive. The last step we need to do with the SD card is format both partitions. We can do this by simply running sudo makefs.msdos slash dev slash sdd1 for the first partition and then sudo makefs.ext4 slash dev slash sdd2 for the second partition. Then that's it. Your SD card is now ready for the Zybo board. You can go to your file manager and you should see two partitions. One that's roughly 34 megabytes for the boot partition and the other that's roughly 16 gigabytes for the root file system.